Hey everybody, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I just thought I would relax and sit down and have my fun with the coasters, which I always enjoy doing. And I always use the stone coat art resin, which actually you can save uh, $10 off a $95 purchase by going into the description, my description, and finding the positive painting code. Okay, that will, when you, and the link will take you straight to Stone Code. If you're ever interested, it's there for you. So, I'm just going to quickly show you what I got set up. This is going to be super easy today because these are easy ones. <laughs> They're all pretty easy now for me. Anyway, this is an ashtray, so it does have the little ashtray grooves down on the bottom. And I'm going to do the seashells ones. And the reason I put the seashells in first is because it's just a lot easier. <laughs> you know, I'm doing it afterwards. But you, it's, sometimes it's better to do them beforehand because, of course, it's going to fill up. And you want as many as possible, and then you want it to look cool, you know, packed. So, But also, it's a lot easier sometimes to wait. Put them in after you torch it and get all the bubbles out so regardless i'll work at it real good with the heat gun and get the bubbles out so that's going to be the bottom these small ones and then all these around there okay so this is just seeing me pour them in there and a few little extra stuff this is going to be the starfish I'll turn them upside down then i got a few of these small ones around the lip of it and then I got this uh, oh, sand dollar, little seashell, yeah. and then I put a little few glass sparkles in there, glass chips, just a few. Okay, so I always, of course, keep fixing them as I, once you blow them, then they kind of move around too. And then I'm going to do my uh, coffee bean, which you can also put them in after you fill them up. Put the resin in first because that pops all the bubbles. Make sure all the bubbles are out. But I'm going to do it that way. Uh, yeah, I just torch them a whole bunch of times to heat them up. So then this one here, I thought might be cute. Oh, I've got some moss out of my storage room I had in my craft box. But I've got some real dry flowers here. And instead of getting real dirt, I figured sand would be fine. This is actually real sand from San Diego Beach. And then here's some gardening tools. So I thought that might be a cute one. <laughs> then I found this cute little painter's palette thing. And not palette, but I forgot. Anyway, so then I'm just going to drop some colored acrylic ink around the sides. That's it. Maybe a little bit around there. This one is actually one of these butterflies. It's the purple one. Okay. It's a sticker, so I'm not going to touch because it it'll stick to my gloves. Then I have this Martha Stewart Super Fine Glitter that I'm going to put in there. Make it look pretty. It should be pretty um, transparent. So, all right, we'll get started. I'm going to mix half the resin and half the uh, hardener. And then just pour them in and add the colors to this, a little color to this, the glitter to this. And that's it. These here just pour resin in. Because I don't want to put color in this one. Okay. Thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Even though it's going to be an easy breezy one, but it's something small. And then on this same video, we'll demold them, you know, open up the molds. So that's good that you're here watching. Thank you.
Okay, so I ran out of resin. I knew I wasn't going to have enough for this one. So I'll save this for another time. They're really pretty, though, the, uh, the shells molds. So I think this one's going to turn out really awesome with all that um, acrylic ink around the sides. Just leave that alone. I think I got most of the bubbles underneath the board, you know. Uh, this one seemed to turn out pretty good. That's going to be cool. And the coffee bean, that's simple. And this one here is going to be cool. So stick around and we'll, uh, I'll let them set for a day. But uh, stay tuned here and I will open them up tomorrow. Okay? Okay. So I might have to quicken that video up. Oh my gosh, it took a long time. I always do too many at once. So after that video, or after getting them in there, I did make up an extra cup of resin and I did these. So we'll reveal those too. Now, the reason I got my gloves too is because they're still just, you know, not quite cured. You gotta go at least 48 hours for them to come to a hardening. And then of course a good week you know, for them to completely cure before you want to use them. So they're probably a little soft. So let's see. Uh, I like to lay them down to open them up because if they're soft. You're not bending them. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, my butterfly's a little crooked. That's still pretty though. See how that butterfly had gold in it? That's why I used the gold flakes. That turned out good. It's a little over on this side. Which is fine. It's actually cool looking. That's neat. I like it. So that one I'll keep out of the... I just press it down and keep out of the mold. Let's do this one. Now, I'm looking at this one, and I'm seeing little indents. And I'm thinking, I did wrong. <laughs> Which, I've lived and learned through these coasters, okay? Because I tried different things. But, yeah, look at this. This is, like, indented in those little holes where I dropped it. And I just wanted it in messy paint, you know? Oh, man, okay. <laughs> How cute though. Oh. What the heck? The little indents on each holes. Oh, what a bummer. Oh man, that's so cute too. It's so clear though. Look at that. I got out all the bubbles. That's for sure out of here. There's some bubbles right there just underneath the board. And I knew there would be. See? But that's all good. I don't know how I'm going to fix this. But I should have put the alcohol ink. Not alcohol. Take that back. Acrylic ink in some resin. Then dropped it in there. <laughs> don't think but see I live and learn through these when I try new stuff so I'm thinking how can I fix that um, can't just pour resin on it because then it'll be all drippy down here uh, I know I could probably pour resin in here just a little bit and then put it back in there and it should fill up those little holes. And then put one layer on the top. Yeah. I'm going to try to do it. If not, I can get another one of those painter's thingies. They're only like $2. But they're just sure cute. Look at that. It's neat though. Well, I'm going to do it again. But I'm going to do another one with uh, adding resin to it. Uh, okay. 
This is so cool. This looks like it turned out really good, too. Um, I started thinking why did I use sand. You know what I could have done? I could have used, took in coffee beans, crunched them up as dirt. But it's all good. That's cool. Is that a bubble? No, that's inside the shovel. That's weird. It's not a bubble. I didn't notice that inside the shovel. I guess that's where they attached it, the metal. But isn't that cute? The sand did work pretty good. Looks like dirt because it's got black in it. That is adorable. Oh, man, I love this one. That is so cool. Isn't that cute? Oh, MG. Okay. How long am I at now? Five minutes. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be a 30-minute video. Let me do it laying down. I'm bummed out about that one. Because it is so cool looking. It just needs to be fixed. And then I can do another one. Like I said, I've gone through many of them. That didn't work. Cool. This one worked good. No bubble. Chunkies. Gaps. Real nice. Well, that's a good one. Nice and clear. Right on. I always smell it even though I know the smell's gone. <laughs> It smells when you torch them with the heat gun. <laughs> so that's cool. Let's take this one on. So yeah, I like to open them up, taking them down like this. Oh, yes! No paint under the starfish. Just a little bit. Or under the sea thingy. What's that called again? Sand dollar. That's cool. So, yeah, that's cool. I don't like too much white because you get too much bubble looking in the water. And I, but I like it a little bit. That turned out really awesome. Right on. No, I'm, I love these. I've got. I'm getting a collection of them. So, that is so cool. I love this one. Man. That's dope. <laughs> okay. Now, this one I did off camera. And I will do the puzzle. That always has a hard time coming out of it. There. Okay, that's dope too. Right on. Now, and the smaller they are, the harder. So I like wearing these. I gave my other one for the appreciation. I really like that one, the green one. But this one's cool too, so now I got me got me one. I'm gonna keep that one. All right, let's see. Now, these might take a little while. Somebody's getting what's in here in the middle. Hey, that is so cool. Oh, I love it. So, yeah, I put some sand in this one. That is super cool, man. So I could never use these. Oh my gosh. And yes, I still smoke once in a while. Not like I used to. Oh my gosh, I used to go like a pack a day years and years ago. Now I go about 10 cigarettes a day. This is super cool. But I can't use these. They're too pretty to scuff up. Or possibly burn or anything. That one is super awesome. Okay. 
So now this one. How much we had? Nine minutes now? Oh, these are the hard ones to get out. They're just a struggle. You gotta kind of roll them back like this. So these were dry flowers. You don't want to use fresh. Well, you can, as long as you don't get bubbles next to the flower. Because if you get a bubble next to the flower, then air will hit it and it'll turn brown. So wait till for them to dry. Look at that detailed. This one is cool. Cool. That is so neat. That's got some bubbling, though. Ah. Well, I was in a hurry with this one, too, because I was like, oh, I wanted to really finish that with the flowers. It's all good, though. That's cool. Look at those flowers in there. Yeah, should have heated it up more. All right, now this one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I'll shorten these videos big time. Okay, <laughs> that took forever. That's cool. Just a little tea, candle tea holder or some little knickknack something, but it's cool how it's got the ridges on it like that. I like this one. Right on. It's the first one that I really like out of this shape. <laughs> without no because it's hard to get the stuff inside this lap here because it's so in well there we go so that took forever I like everything even this one's just even though it's got bubbles but it's all good that's cool gosh I love that one too the flowers dried real flowers okay well so and then yeah i will have to try to fix this one if not just make another one but yeah i could fix it. i could put some more resin inside there well thanks for watching guys i know i took forever i will try to really speed up the making of this video this is 13 minutes hey guys i don't have a, i'm not gonna do a positive vibe on this word quote because that took forever. Thanks for watching. Um, give these a try. They're fun. But you know, yeah, you live and learn through them. You know, that's just what I've had to do. And that's a bummer. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. I love it. Love this one. Should have checked on it. Straightened them. My puzzle thingy. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye now.